Have you ever encountered a dangerous individual or social manipulator in your group? I'm not talking about the murder hobo character who ruined your game, or the DM who loves misery. <laughs> I'm talking about people who felt like they could even have hurt somebody at the table, or socially manipulated people at said table. I can only be thankful I've never came across anything like that IRL. The first comment, yeah, narcissistic fur f- it. glad everybody abandoned him. <laughs> <laughs> Same back, but though, let's be serious. I had a GM like that, that always made himself the centre of attention and took it upon himself to be the leader. And it was super obvious how uncomfortable it made him when he was in a group that wouldn't take his sh**. It became ever more obvious when he started dating one of the players and obsessing over her. I mean, he basically demanded every hour of her day, to a point where it wasn't normal. He didn't even want her hanging out with friends anymore. We ended up ditching him about the time it reached the boiling point. His girlfriend finally dumped his ass, and he got Crohn's disease. How did he get Crohn's disease? How's that part of it? I don't know. Yeah. Was she but... him or something? I don't know. I don't know, but that, you know, just because he's a d- doesn't mean he deserves a disease. I know. You know. I don't know. The guy's pretty cringe, to be honest with you. Yeah, but well, just because like... you're cringe doesn't mean you deserve <laughs> I know, I know. Crohn's I know. disease. To this day, I'm unsure of what the lesson was. I have a friend that from time to time just snaps out and flat out attacks someone. But since he is small and not that strong, we just all got used to it. <laughs> was, it was it one of those ones where you hold his head it's like back? Scrappy dude. Yeah. Like, Let me at him. <laughs> That's what I imagined. He says that he was used as a chalkboard eraser daily in his school days, among other heavy bullying stuff. So we preferred not to even open that can of worms. The worst that happened was a pencil attack that sent another friend to the emergency. To get, how I want to hear about it? that. How, like, what, how is this a thing? Don't like, mention <laughs> like that in your post and not allow it. Like, we we need even hear more about that. Honestly, you can't just say, "Oh yeah, by the way, stab someone with a pencil." Jesus Christ! What is wrong? Uh, with somebody people? replied to it saying, "I love you." Have an attack manlet. <laughs> <laughs> just bung them in the trunk when you go driving, and if you get into a road rate incident, pop the trunk and let that. <laughs> Condense all <to> slice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but today's sponsor is Coinbase. Have you been thinking about getting into cryptocurrency recently with everything that's going on? Well, maybe now would be a good time to get into cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin. Well, why not consider using Coinbase? It's a great all in one platform to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. And one of the features that I think is pretty based is being able to set up a recurring purchase be it every day, every week or a month. It makes it much easier to slowly invest in the crypto. And also being able to set up alerts when a cryptocurrency goes over a set amount makes it far easier to cash out big time. We've all seen the videos of, you know, the yeah. oh, sell, 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 sell. <laughs> yeah, you know. getting the alerts really help. And best of all, you will receive 10 US dollars of Bitcoin when you buy or sell 100 US dollars or more on Coinbase. Also, we get a tenner, you get a tenner, and then if you invite any of your friends, you also get another tenner. So, look, win-win. So what are you waiting for? If there's ever been a time to start getting into crypto and making a quick buck, now is the time. So quick, go check out the top link down below and get the invite and get yourself a tenner and get yourself into that cryptocurrencies. Now let's get back to the video. Once had a player who turned out to be a paedophile. I've only ever played with friends since then. In reply, how did you even find out? We got kind of close to the guy and when we were playing at his place, a friend noticed that he had Roblox on his PC. It was a bit odd, especially for an adult in 2011 but nobody really thought anything of it. Except the same friend started snipping on his computer, which I thought was shitty at the time, but I'm glad he did it now. Turns out he was soliciting nudes from teenage players over Skype. We left and called the cops. Don't think they ever did anything about it, which really bothers me. What the fuck is wrong with What? People? I don't know. Like, do you remember there was like that whole thing of, there was people on Facebook, like there was pedos on Facebook pretend to be chicken nuggets? No. You don't remember that? I remember it's, I was in these articles. <laughs> Do you not remember that? About the pedos oh and the chicken nuggets to guard children. And... What fucking children <laughs> are talking to chicken nuggets? They were talking to chicken nuggets on Facebook. 
I'll, 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 pull it, I'll pull it up on screen to show you guys. I'm not making Fuck this me. up. One of the members of my first 3.5 group is a literal crackhead now and just got arrested for beating up his wife and trying to keep her locked in the house. Knew the guy since I was five and while we were never close, he was always around. So it's pretty crazy to see how he ended up. Stick to weed and psychedelics, kids. That's mad, honestly, though. I just find it hard to believe a crackhead played D&D. <laughs> you know, I don't know why. I do find that just hard to believe. It's something I can only tell secondhand, but I think I've remembered the broader details well enough. It's not very exciting, but it's still pretty low-key insane. DM is running a Pathfinder game at a local game shop. The party consists of three people. A giga, huh? Playing a fighter, whom I'll call GN for short. <laughs> a white guy with dreadlocks playing a clerk. I'll call dreads. <laughs> I love these names. <laughs> Another guy playing a gunslinger. I'll call Weasel. Weasel wanted to use his level 10 ish gunslinger from another, still ongoing campaign. His game, however, was closer to the level 3 to 5 range. It was agreed to de level the gunslinger under the assumption that this game took place in the gunslinger's backstory, like a prequel to the other campaign. The table jokes that if the gunslinger dies in this game, the time paradox will delete him from the other one. The game begins and proceeds normally without issue. The party is crossing a drawbridge, suspended over a large ravine, the bottom of which is covered in spikes. Upon closer examination, they realise the spikes are decked out in valuable jewels, and begin wondering how to loot them. This is just. Oh, this, this is, is like a bad the, idea. This is the worst, worst idea. idea. <laughs> I've while. Ideas such as rappelling down are tossed around. GN jokingly suggests he throws the gunslinger down to grab them. <laughs> GN goes a step further, stands up from his seat, and moves to grab Weasel to demonstrate how he'd throw his gunslinger off the bridge. Weasel responds by pulling out a gun and pointing at What? G- what? IRL? I, G- pointing at him? <laughs> Laughter stops. PNG. GN sits back down. All suggestions of throwing the gunslinger off the bridge are abandoned. Wait, do you actually pull a gun on him? Like, IRL? Like at the table? I'm, I'm, that's wild. Weasel, with his gun still drawn, insists the game <laughs> continues. Oh my god, this guy's an actual fucking psychopath. What the fuck? This is actually crazy. The shop owner... This is in a shop? Oh my god. The shop owner quietly excuses himself to the back of the room to call the cops. <laughs> DM and the rest of the table are now nervously playing the game while Weasel points a gun at them. What? Eventually Weasel calms down and stops aiming it at anyone, but still refuses to put it away. After a while of buying time, three police officers enter the store. Weasel is arrested without resistance. Shop owner comes back out and begs forgiveness from the DM, Dreads and GN. Offers each of them $100 worth of stuff from the store as an apology. DM never goes back to that store ever again. I wouldn't go back to that place. Jesus, that guy's crazy. That is mental. I don't... I don't... That is mental. I don't real. I don't understand how, why the... The person he's working there offers them a hundred dollars worth of quite, stuff. It was like they didn't want to get fined or sued, or they didn't want this. How would they get out. sued? Well, or they, anything like, because they don't want the they don't want the story. They didn't out. know the boy was walking in with I a fucking gun. Didn't, but they probably don't want like like can we just sh- shut the fuck up and not talk about this? You know what I mean? Someone pulls a gun on a game store, it's probably gonna be bad for business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Jesus, that's wild. Like honestly, if you guys have anything to top that. Fuck. Fuck hey, that's mad. That. That, that's, that's, what, that's one of the worst ones I've ever came across. Weasel no, sounds like either a crackhead or a potential skull shitter. Either way, it's good he got arrested. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, it really is a good thing he got arrested. I had a friend who became infected with Twitter politics and started unironically touting communism. Ugh, disgusting! <laughs> he was the absolute stereotype up and down. Chubby, balding, kind of dumb. Thinks he's very uh, smart. Yeah, yeah. Not acts, really acts very smug about how smart he thinks he is and absolutely will not listen to reason in any sense if anyone expresses even the most mildly centrist positions on anything. I think I've met a few people like that. Yeah. He would start berating people just for not getting as angry as he was about whatever the current outrage bait was on social media. I don't think he was dangerous. But he was definitely an obnoxious retard who thought having read a couple of Chomsky books made him some kind of genius. He kind of drifted away from us over time. Sad, but 
Game started being fun again as soon as he stopped showing up. Sucks to see your childhood friend getting sucked into that garbage and lose himself. That's kind of sad, to be honest with yeah. you. That is really sad. But like, you know... Oh, Twitter's horrible. I'm not Drift out, out the week. It. Yeah. Made out the week. <laughs> yeah, that's all you can say. Oh. I encourage what I consider healthy habits and good etiquette among my group of players while discouraging others. I'm usually subtle about it, but I often apply manipulative techniques when dealing with pride and slash or stubborn people. Twice I've been the instigator of other people being booted from the group. One was a pothead that tried to moronically bully the current GM into letting him have his way. The other time was another pothead that had serious mental issues that we were just tired of dealing with. I've got nothing against pot, but too many pot smokers end up being dregs of society. (laughs) I haven't done anything with harmful consequences to anyone who hasn't deserved it. My group started out as a bunch of autistic munchkin assholes that could barely stand each other. Now they're actual friends and they've developed some social skills. You sound like an overbearing piece of shit. Yeah, he does seem a bit too much, to be honest He seems... Don't get me Too wrong. Now, have you ever actually tried to play a game with like a stoner, like, like an stoner? actual stoner? Like you know, you know. Like, whenever I think of whenever people disguise themselves as stoners, I think of the people that have no personality to be like, bar they smoke weed. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I think. What yeah. he's trying to what he's trying to say. You know. Like, All they talk about is. Oh, I, I got this dank ass kush. Oh, I got they, this. Or oh, all they this. talk about is green cures cancer, green yeah. cures this and yeah. that and this and that. It's like, oh. Please stop. Look, I get it. If you like green, that's fine. I don't care. Anyone can smoke green. I'm really not. I don't, I, ca- like, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. But, like, see if you. If that's it, your if you, only trait and that's, that's your, your only, only. Personality trait. Yeah. If you walk about wearing one of those Gastafarian hats. And if you like walk that, about and, like Ethan Klein and yeah. Vietnam Nish, then yeah. something's wrong. Yeah, that's pretty much what I think. But and like, your fun covers Rastafarian. Oh, no. Well, that's kind of out of style. Like, that would have been, what, like a 2008, 9 sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, remember the boys you used to walk about with? Um, remember that? Was it the Adidas yeah, trainers oh, that yes. had the Rastafarian thing? And yeah, then at the, the back Jamaica. of it, they used to write um, FTW. Yes, I remember that. I don't know if that was Free the, the weed, thing. but it was I, definitely over yeah, here. It over here, it was a big thing. Like, enough of this talking about green. You like some green, that's fine. Don't care, but don't make it your like, defining tweet. Please, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we had someone who was like a cartoon depiction of that guy. Lardass, fedora, neckbeard, pole as hell. Actually started drilling whenever a girl walked into the game store. Females! Had an ugly trench coat that hid most of his pit stink and cigar smoke (laughs) but unleashed a hurricane force charnel wind when opened he lied all the time then denied ever having spouted bullshit when it was brought up would cheat constantly and even got booted from the group for ripping off another character's arm when a moral issue came up in character he's been kicked out of every group he's ever been in i think he's on number six and is banned from at least one store in the area Find out from the one person who still talks to him. Last year, he'd rigged actual fucking landmines well. all over his property. <laughs> Assuming, of course, he wasn't bullshitting, which he totally probably was. Yeah, he probably was bullshitting. He probably was, but who's going to roll the dice and walk over his lawn? <laughs> <Yeah>. That's right. <laughs> like, uh, be honest with you, sometimes, mm, you know, the paranoid schizophrenic types are the ones you really need to... You really need to like be like nice to you from time to time. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Fuck. Just f- f- stay away from him. <laughs> oh god, that's horrible. Intelligent guy, edgy sense of humor. Was doing a psychology degree. Grand, grand wizard. Grand wizard. This, is grand, this grand wizard. is grand wizard. This is him. Told anyone who asked that he was in the course to learn how to fuck with people's minds. Everyone laughed it off because he was an edge lord. Graduated with honors. Suddenly he doesn't have a sense of humor anymore. Suddenly, every hint of humour has to be dissected. Spurgs out with, that's not how that works, when he misunderstands a joke or reference. Now here's when he crossed the fucking line with what he learned. He runs a short Imperial Star Wars saga campaign based loosely on the premise of Suicide Squad. Cringe. Fucking Cringe. cringe is that. Two sessions in, and a PC has died. Another PC is held responsible by our only female player. He makes this roleplay a long, drawn-out court-martial. 
Verdict is given without any player input. Guilty. Each of our characters has to suggest a fitting punishment. All of our characters' opinions are discarded. He spends five minutes describing in gruesome how the PC is medically mutilated and forcibly turned into an experimental cyborg. As the player squirms in disgust, he has a shit-eating grin on his face. The player leaves and never comes back. To this day, she refuses to be in the same room as him. I don't blame them. No, I don't either. I really don't. Sometimes you come across some of these horror stories and they're really freaking out over minor issues. Realistically, yeah. no one carries about. But like, this guy seems pretty cringe. Yeah. I also left the group a few months later. But after that, the group collapsed anyway since he was the only one left who wanted to run anything. No one wanted to play in his games because they either resulted in theatrics described above against players he didn't like or every session was dungeons and fetch quests with the same formula. Heroes go forth and find the thing. Here's the riddle to find the thing. Every clue is a red herring and all your answers are false. DM gets the shitties. What the fuck is the shitties? <laughs> DM gets the shitties and shouts his solution at the players as they give up on solving the mystery. The answer is always something way less mystical than the riddle let on. Big fight. Get the thing. Deliver the thing. XP and gold. See idiots next week for the same thing. Ugh, cringe. Repetitive, 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 yeah, cringe. Why would, you, why would you bother? Why would you even bother? You know? Honestly, I'm just saying, see that guy that pulled the gun? That was mad. That was mad. That was actually crazy. I, I refuse to believe. I, I really want that to be real at the, the same time. That it's just in, in the middle of like a local game store. Hold up there. This, this boy's like... <laughs> He's getting on a cancel or some shit and talking. <laughs> like, wait, now this isn't like, you know, I think... No. You took the first. Yeah, you, you're taking the whole fucking gunslinger thing a bit a too bit far, too real. mate. But yeah, no, that was mad. Also, if you guys have any like crazy, like crazy, like stories. actually mentals that you've like, ever have you ever with, had a gun pulled out of you at a D and D? I really hope you haven't. I hope you haven't. I hope you haven't. But if you have, let us know. Honestly, that one was fucking mental. Was, I, I I feel really blessed. To be honest with you, I've came across some cringe words. I've came across some like you know like that whole communist fella. I've yeah, came across I've people came across like that, well. but I've never came across anyone that's actually mental. Yeah, like genuinely crackheads. Like crackhead Crack, unhinged. No, no. I think I'm actually very lucky. But like if any of you guys have came across any of them, definitely let us know down below. Uh, yeah. we'll make a I'm video. I'm looking for you Americans out there. Yeah, you Americans have all got the mentals. <laughs> yeah. And uh look, I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next time. Bye.